Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the Shargeek Storm 2 Portable Laptop Charger. This product is a very clever portable power solution that you can charge at home or even charge in your car and then take with you out in the field to recharge your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your drone batteries, pretty much anything you'll plug into a USB charger at home. You can plug into this device and charge it when you're away from home. So it extends your camping trip. If you bring your phone along and it's starting to get a little low in power, just plug it in. It'll recharge your phone. Same thing with your laptop and some of the drone batteries on the market. It's a wonderful portable power solution that's got a lot of clever technology built into it and I'll get into all of that in a minute but first I always like to start with an unboxing of any product I'm reviewing and that way you'll understand exactly what you get once you open up the box and then I'll go through the specifications and talk a little bit about the technology because what Shargeek has done is built this portable solution that has a really sophisticated battery management system inside that gives you a lot of good information on how much current you're drawing out of the unit and voltage as well as how much is going in when you're charging it and other really important conditions about the unit through that digital display in the top. They also give you a wide variety of connections that'll charge pretty much anything again that you'll plug into a USB charger at home. And then I'll take a closer look at the unit because the design on this is really clever and it's beautiful. It's got a clear case on the outside which allows you to see all the technology inside and as a geek man I love that. That's just beautiful. And then I'll come back and point out a few things that I really like about this product that you can use to compare it to other portable solutions on the market. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find the Storm 2, and it's a beautiful unit. It's got a little weight to it, but it's got plenty of power. It's 25,600 milliamp hours of capacity, which is a lot of power in a small unit like this. You could slide this in your pocket and have all the power you need to recharge your devices for that couple of days you're going out camping. The thing I like best about it, and there's a lot I like about it, but it's got this really nice clear case which shows you the batteries on the bottom it looks like there are four i'm going to guess they're 18650s which are standard lipo batteries on the bottom but the best part is on the top you can look right through and see the printed circuit board with all the components mounted on top of it and again as a geek i just love looking in there and seeing all those components I also like the fact that they give you a digital display that'll give you all the information that you need to understand about the unit. So you'll see immediately when you plug something in to charge it, what kind of voltage and current it's drawing. And that's important because, and I'll get into this in a minute, some units out there have quick charging capabilities and you want to make sure you're charging them as fast and as safely as you can. So knowing how that voltage and current is changing when you plug something in is really important. It also gives you good detail on how the unit's charging when you plug it into a wall adapter because not all USB charging chargers are the same. So if you plug this in to an older charger, maybe one that came with your original iPhone, it's not going to charge really quickly. So finding a charger that can deliver a lot of voltage and current to charge it quickly is really important and you'll get all the information right there on the display. There's also a power button next to it. I like their color scheme too. It's sort of this yellow and black color scheme. All right, so that's the Storm 2. Also included with the kit is a really nice, long, heavy-duty, flexible USB-C to USB-C cable. And they include that because you can use this from the unit to a device to charge that device. You can also use this from a charger to the unit to charge the unit. So it's a bi-directional, as most cables are, but I think it's really nice they've included the cable. And again, it's yellow. It's got these black ends on it. It just looks really cool. And they also include a really nice carrying case. And I think this is important because this product has got that clear external case and over time it's going to get scratched up but you can do what you're your best to actually put it inside the case when you're traveling and it allows you to keep everything organized too you can keep the cable and the charger in the same or I should say the power station in the same bag Finally, there's a full instruction manual that's included. This is a quick start guide, but there's a full instruction manual that explains everything you'll need to know about the unit. There's not a lot to learn. It's pretty basic. It's essentially a portable battery that you charge somewhere, whether it's home or in your car. Once it's charged, that energy needs to be delivered, and there's a bunch of ports on the end that allow you to connect up external devices and charge them at the same time. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the unit. So what's interesting about it is they packed a lot of energy into a really small package. It's using lithium polymer batteries. Again, I think they're 18650s, but again, I'll have to check that, but they look pretty close to that. That's a really standard battery in the rechargeable community. It's used in a lot of different products, very stable chemistry, very good technology to use. It has 25,600 milliampere hours of internal capacity. Now, battery banks are typically 10,000, 20,000 milliampere hours, so it's larger than a standard battery bank. And 
that's important because you've got to find a balance between weight and power. So many times you may look for a portable solution like this that's got more energy that it can deliver out in the field, but then it's really heavy. It's a math problem because it's got more batteries in it. Of course, it's going to weigh more. And the challenge there is if you're bringing it out in the field, you may have got something that's too big for what you need. So if you're going for a couple of days of camping and you're bringing a heavier unit with you, you're now dragging weight out in the field you didn't need to bring along because you're bringing it home with 50% of the charge in it. So I think where this one fits is right in that middle zone between too small and too big, which again is perfect for a couple of days of camping, or if you're heading out and you need power to charge your laptop, that's just great. All right, so the unit itself has got a series of connections on the end. You'll find two USB-C connections and a single USB-A connection and a barrel connection over here. Now, USB is a charging standard that's been around for an awful long time. The original charging standard was through USB-A, and a lot of products still use that. This USB-A connection right here is also a QC connection, which means it's quick charge compatible. So if you plug something in that's got a QC compatibility, this unit will recognize the fact that you plugged in a quick charging device, and it'll interrogate that device to figure out what kind of voltage and current it needs to quickly and safely charge it, and it'll adjust the voltage and current on that port, again, to quickly and safely charge that device. So it's it's smart enough to look for QC devices and quickly charge those. It's also a port you can use for anything you plug into a USB-A port at home. So your game consoles, your cameras, non-QC devices, they'll work just fine off that USB-A port. The USB-C ports are the newer style ports, and those are smaller, and they're used on a lot of newer phones and tablets and game consoles, drone batteries, but the beautiful part is you've got both flavors of port on the product. So whether you've got an older cable, plug it into the USB-A. If you've got a newer cable, plug it into the USB-C. But here's where it gets interesting. One of these, the upright one right here, is a bi-directional port, which means that's how you charge the unit through that USB-C port. It's also an external connection that you can use to charge devices off the product. That's 100 watts of charging power, and that's astounding for a portable uh, power source like this because most of them give you 30 watts at most, maybe 45 watts if you're lucky. 100 watts means you can use this to charge a laptop, you can use it to charge some of the bigger tablets on the market, game consoles, things that require a lot of current to charge correctly. This unit will handle it up to 100 watts. The other USB-C port right here under the USB-A port is a 30 watt port, and they're both PD, which is power delivery, and that's the other quick charging standard. QC is on USB-A, PD is on USB-C typically, and the PD standard is used on a lot of newer phones, a lot of game consoles, a lot of drone batteries, a lot of drone controllers. So when you plug in there, the same behavior happens. Those ports will interrogate the device that's plugged in. It'll figure out what the current charge level is of that device, and it'll adjust the voltage and current individually to those two ports to quickly and safely charge those devices that are connected. So you've got three smart ports, a USB-A and two USB-Cs. The USB-A is an 18-watt port. The USB-Cs are 100-watt and 30-watt, which means you can charge a lot of things off this at the same time. Finally, there's a barrel connection right here that's a variable DC port, and you can adjust that for connecting to external devices. Now, there are cables on the market that'll convert that barrel to maybe a laptop connection or a portable DVD player connection, or even some phones you can find cables to charge them, but I think it's great that Chargeek built a product that not only has standard USB charging between USB-A and USB-C, but they gave you a variable voltage DC port with the barrel connection on the end. And that's pretty much it for the unit. So what they've done really is built a couple of 18650s, which is the power source, right? That's the battery, that's where the energy is being stored. But the beauty of this product is in the circuitry on the top. They've built a custom OS that monitors how the charge enters the batteries to safely and quickly charge them, and also how you deliver that charge externally to devices to charge them. One other thing I wanted to mention, a lot of these portable power solutions are basically very dumb when you're charging them. And what I mean by that is they'll charge at like five volts at 2.4 amps, which is pretty standard for USB. This one has quick charging PD externally to devices, as well as internally to the unit, which means if you're using an external charger that's PD compatible and it's like a 65 water, when you plug this in, that charger will recognize this as a PD device and it'll actually adjust the voltage and current to quickly and safely charge this device. And the reason that's important is because you can fully charge this unit in less than 90 minutes, where most units on the market today, they'll take hours to charge them if they're large like this. So having the ability to deliver PD externally and use PD to charge the unit is a big advantage over a a lot of their products on the market. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, and then I'll come back and point out a few things that I've mentioned already that really separate this from a lot of the standard portable power solutions that are on the market. So stay tuned for the closer look next.
The unit features a high-impact acrylic case, which is also clear, and I love that about the unit because, being a nerd like me, I love to see the components inside, and I can actually see the printed circuit board right here with all the components mounted on the top of it. You've got some custom chips right there, a couple of capacitors, and boy, that's just great because most of these portable power solutions have a boring black case on the outside. You're not sure what's going on on the inside. With this one, you can see everything. You'll also find the batteries on the bottom. There are four over here and four more on the other side. And again, I think these are 18650s, but I'll have to verify that. But that's where the energy is being stored that you'll deliver to external devices once you have it charged. Also on the top of the unit is a digital display and a power button. You can tap this button to turn it on. And that digital display gives you all the information you'll need to understand about the current status of the product, including what ports are being used. When you plug something in, you'll see an indicator come up up here to show you USB-A, USB-C1, USB-C2, or that DC port. Nothing's plugged in right now, that's why it's blank. Below that, you'll see in, and that tells you how much current and voltage is heading into the unit when you're charging it, and out, which is telling you how much total current and voltage is being delivered to external devices. You'll also see a charge indicator in the top right over here that lets you know the current charge on the unit. And the reason this is important is because when you're charging the unit, you want to find a charger, a USB charger, that's PD and typically 65 or greater watts of energy, and that'll fast charge the unit. As I mentioned before, you can PD charge the unit internally, which will get it fully charged in about 90 minutes, depending on the charge level when you start. Now on the end is where you'll make all your connections, and you can see there are two USB-C ports, one there and one there, and a USB-A port. The USB-A port is a QC port as well, like I'd mentioned, so anything quick charge compatible that you plug in there will quick charge that device. The two USB-C ports are both PD compatible, which means again, if you plug an intelligent device into either one of these, it'll quickly charge that device. This one right here is bi-directional, which means you'll use that to charge the unit You'll also use that to charge external devices, and that one can deliver 100 watts of power. This one delivers up to 30 watts of power, and this QC USB-A is 18 watts of power. But again, three smart ports that are all high-powered, really, really smart ports that can quickly and safely charge external devices. Finally, there's a DC barrel connection right there, and that's got a variable voltage on it. You can use that to charge specialty devices, getting the right cable between this and the device, but I love the fact that they give me two USB-Cs and a USB-A, which is all the connections I'll need out there in the field. So overall, it's a beautiful looking unit and really easy to use. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the Shargeek Storm 2 to other portable power solutions you may be considering. So the first thing is, I don't want to discount the design of this, but that to me is really an attractive feature. I know it doesn't make a big difference between this and other portable power solutions, but I love the design of this. It's small, it's got rounded corners, it slips into your pocket really well, you can slide it in your backpack or whatever you're, whatever you're taking with you. It's a really easy unit to bring along. So I like the design a lot. They thought about not just building this in an acrylic black case like most of the portable power solutions, they actually gave you visibility into the technology and they give you a full digital display in the top that gives Gives you all the information you'll need. A lot of other portable solutions out there have a series of LEDs so you roughly know what kind of charges in the unit. With this one you know exactly how much power is in the unit. You also know how much power is going into it when you're charging it and how much power is coming out of it when you're charging something else. And I think that's really important to understand. I like the fact that the unit provides a collection of USB ports. So I've got USB-A, which is the older standard. I've got two USB-C ports. The USB-A is a QC that can deliver five volts up to 18 watts. The two USB-Cs are both PD or power delivery ports. One of them is 100 watts, which again is incredible because most of these units are around 30 or 45 watts of external charging capabilities. So 100 watts means I can plug in bigger tablets, I can plug in laptops, drone batteries, a lot of things that draw a lot of current out of a unit. The other one is 30 watts, and both of those work at the same time. So I've got three ways to charge external devices, maybe a laptop, a tablet, and my phone at the exact same time. So that's a big benefit. I love the battery management system inside here because the biggest challenge with building a battery bank like this or a portable power solution is how do I groom the power on the way in? And more importantly, how can I ensure that the power that's in the unit won't damage external devices? This unit has a very sophisticated battery management operating system that's looking at each device that's plugged in and carefully delivering the voltage and current to that device to quickly and safely charge it. And that's super important because the external devices you're connecting up to this product are going to be way more expensive than the product itself. And you want to make sure that if it's sending voltage and current to those devices, that it's not going to cause issues with them while it's charging those devices. So that battery management system is really important. 
I also love the fact that they give you the Storm 2, a really nice charging cable that I can charge it with, I can charge external devices with, and a really nice little carrying pouch to protect the unit when I'm out there on the road. So all those things being equal, I think it's a wonderful product. I think it's a great solution if you're looking for something to take with you on that camping trip or that long road trip, or if you're going on a vacation, this is airline compliant, you can take it on the plane with you and recharge things when you're on those long flights wherever you're heading. So I like it a lot and I think you're gonna like it a lot as well. So thanks again for watching and until next time as always stay nerdy mm -hmm.